Welcome back with an update on Mur on the Murbox situation in Alaska. Um, so angry sea and gnome this morning. Wave and uh, waves and storm surge are pushing into the community, including along Front Street. The water levels are expected to peak this afternoon. Here's an image from the port of Nome, courtesy of the Alaska Ocean Ob Observing System. Um, so. Yeah, I'll snapshot this with thumbnail as we continue on, but yeah, definitely again the rough seas coming in. Um, also heads up, Murbach may may be done tomorrow night, um, but this is not gonna be something. Um, so we got wind gusts so far. Okay, I don't know why this toupee thing is a thing, but okay, whatever. Um, but looks like wind gusts are ranging from 41 to 91 miles an hour. Um, the 91 is at, with Cape Roman, uh, Romanzoff. Uh, got 56 mile an hour winds in Nome. Tin City was 60, Golovin 63, Teller 64. Uh, Scammon Bay 54, Katsubi 47. And it's just, this is not a big, this is not a good storm here. Um, I'd say I've, starting Thursday this week, Alaska will officially be drought free. Um, high water and flooding is reported from Kotlik. Here's the FA webcam from a normal day, then showing flooding this morning at 9.15. And it's definitely coastal in origin plus yeah four buildings less than a meter SM site is three feet has an elevation of three feet uh, clear day visual preference and this is what we're at now um, definitely seeing some flooding there um, so this is definitely not a good sign um, images from Fa at uh, Unaklit. Um, so this is what we're looking at here. Um, so yeah, site level is eight meet feet above sea level. Okay, this is yeah. Um, what normally is versus 8 a.m. this morning. Note their time frame would be the Alaskan daylight daylight Alaskan daylight time zone um, Because Alaska does do daylight savings um, But yeah So just gonna retweet this because this is uh, photos are courtesy of C. Lewis um, but yeah, this is not looking too good. Um, hopefully not too much happens. Um, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Major flooding in Golovin. Highest water level is not expected until this afternoon, so it will get worse. Water is surrounding the school, homes, and, and uh, structures are flooded. At least a couple homes floated off the foundation. Some older fuel tanks are tilted over. So hopefully the tanks were empty and not make the water flammable. Uh, residents have been evacuated to the uh, s to the school and clinic in Shack Tulik. Um, so yeah, this is the situation at hand. Uh, let's check what Anchorage has. Um, nothing new with Anchorage, but there's something new with the Alaska region. Um. So, yeah, it's basically just that, which I already did ret retweet. Um, sun rising with this. Oh, oh no, it's just over half moon last night. Thankfully, tides aren't as high as they could have been. So, yeah, that's a good sign. Um, this is, okay, water is now above 10 feet with Nome, in Nome, Alaska. Um, which, 
is higher than the 2011 storm. So this storm is officially worse than the great 2011 Bering Sea Superstorm. Um, and will continue to rise in, into the afternoon across all of Norton Sound and well, across the entire co western coast of Alaska. Um, and yeah, this is about it. Hopefully it hopefully not much more happens. Hopefully this the uh, the storm is not as bad as forecasted in the long run. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.